Well, good morning, you guys. I figured I would show you how I ship quail eggs. So when you get your quail foam ordered and it finally comes in, it will have this. Well, first off, it'll look like this. It's in a shrink wrap box. And I think there's 140 of these in there plus the shipping foam pads. But you have to stand here and take all these little circles out and I just put them in a box because we're going to use them in a minute otherwise you could make a kid's swimming pool with them after a while which hey they might like that but for as many as I ship it would have to be a pretty good sized lake so you have these <coughs> And now you're going to put your eggs in. Which this all seems pretty simple, but shipping is really hard on eggs. So we're going to do a couple extra steps. And I'm gonna show you what I do to try to ensure, that's a double yoker, we don't need that one to try to ensure the best possible hatch rate that we can get. After we get all of this filled in, we're going to use the free boxes that you can order off of the postoffice.com. They will ship them straight to you. They're free. And I'm gonna show you what sizes you need to do this cost effectively. So now that we have all of those in there, I'm gonna set them to the side. Now, you need this box, large mailing box, not the large flat rate box. That is too expensive. And this one we're just going to fold up like normal. And if you have a husband with really nice blue eyes, you can probably get some of this tape at the post office um, from the lady, which is always nice. This tape is quite expensive. All right, now that we have this box, this is the outer box that you're actually going to see. The next box that you need is the regional box B. Now, this is the size that I find fits this particular size quail foam the best. I just would have to go to the post office and get different sizes and see if your foam is a different size, you know, which box would fit better. So what I've done here is I've cut halfway down. And I'm gonna show you why. Put it on the edge of your workbench, like this, right at the edge of the cut, and fold it. Now you've created a new box. And you're gonna fold this up. piece of tape. See, we've got a nice shallow box now. Now we're back to the eggs. We're going to take two pieces of the thin foam and I'm doing that right now because somehow I ended up with a whole bunch of extra foam. Not sure why. See? and put a foam piece on top. Now I include a pamphlet on what to do with your quail and I put that on top here. Now we're back to these. We're going to fill in the dead space with these little pieces. Then, I folded a box that fits perfectly. 
perfectly. are protected in this box see they don't move around in there and I'm not doing anything the post office isn't going to do here now we're back to our large mailing box <clears throat> now all my lovely family neighbors everybody saves me these from all their deliveries especially this time of year has been really nice put a layer in there sit that in there that up. So see now the box is complete but I didn't add any weight to it. This box weighs with, with three dozen eggs in it, box like I just did it, weighs 2.6 pounds. And I put three strips of tape. I have fragile stickers and I just put a couple of these. I get these off of, um, I think I got those on Amazon. They were a penny a piece. And then I have shipping labels in the house that I printed off. And so this box is ready to go. As a general rule, this box will cost about $9 to $10 to ship it. Alright, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.